Like a lady of the night searching for their next trick, handheld gamers are always looking for a way to boost their performance, in-game, while keeping things looking nice. To that end, the lovely Ally Life over on GitHub has made a script you can install to add 900p resolution to your Ally. What this should theoretically do is provide a better picture than 720, but better performance than 1080, somewhere right in the middle. So here's a guide on how to get it set up, and a few examples on what kind of results you can expect. So to get started, just head into your internet browser of choice and do a quick search for ROG Ally 900p. And you should find quite a few results. There's a good guide on ROG Ally Life. The one that we're using on here is the link to Asus's ROG forum. And all this script is doing is just adding in 900p as a selectable resolution on the device. So as we scroll down, you'll see a download link for the version of ROG Ally custom resolution file, and that should take you to the GitHub page. From here, we wanna download the standard set. You could download the extended set if you wanna mess around with that. And then we're gonna run the reg file that's downloaded and just select yes on the prompt that comes up. It's just telling you it's messing with your registry. Shouldn't cause a problem. Now, once that's installed, you will need to restart your ally. Now, once that's restarted, we should be able to right click on the desktop, head to display settings, and where we previously just had 720 and 1080p in the display resolution, we now have 1600 by 900. So we have the 900p resolution selectable. I'd also recommend looking at your user, user interface scaling while you're in here. I've heard that around 175% should get the most apps looking normal. Um, so you just select 1600 by 900 and then press yes. So first up here, we have Gotham Knights with 720p on the left, 900p in the middle, 1080p on the right. And you can see 720p, we're looking pretty potato-y, but we're still at 69 FPS, which is cool. Uh, 900p, the image becomes much clearer, 56 FPS roughly. And at 1080p, we're looking super sharp, but we've gone below 50 and we're now in the 40s. Spider-Man Miles Morales, similar story, 38 FPS at 720p, 36 or so FPS at 900p, 31 FPS at 1080p. You're starting to see a trend here, you know, 900p, slightly better um, picture quality than 720p, but slightly worse performance, but better performance than 1080p. Whether or not these gains are worth it for you, it's totally up to you. Your mileage may vary with this. Personally, I've been playing 900p ever since I installed it. I think it's a really good middle ground. Moving into Baldur's Gate, very similar results, 58 on 720p, 49 or so on 900p, and 43 on 1080p. And don't underestimate the bump in detail from 720p to 900p. It might not come across too well on this video with the way that the clips are put together there, but it really does make a difference between 720p and 900p. While 900p to 1080p seems somewhat less impactful, if that makes sense. Uh, here in Armored Core, very similar story. We do have some upscaling on this one, apologies, but the percentile gains should be roughly similar anyway. Um, 68, down to 63, down to 44. Sorry, 53. So is this a new sweet spot for the ROG Ally? I would say probably. Being able to run games at 1080p is absolutely great, but it is very taxing on the little Z1 Extreme. And for a lot of games, it can handle it absolutely fine. And if you want to play it at 1080p, then that's totally up to you. I totally respect that. I love the games in 1080p. I think they look great, especially on that screen. Um, what I don't love so much is 720p. I always find everything tends to look very muddy, very much like I'm running it in a potato. So 900p for me hits that really nice balance between the two. Slightly better performance, slightly worse visuals than 1080p. Right in the middle, it just works. Uh, I definitely recommend you give this a go. Um, if you do, let me know how it goes in the comments and I uh, hope this helped you out. If you like the video, be sure to leave a like, maybe subscribe. We've got plenty of content like this.